Hey, what's happening guys? I'm Mikihime, and welcome back to my channel. And it is mermaid, which means that people are drawing tons and tons of mermaids, so I figured why not make a video on how to do actual mermaid anatomy because, um, let's face it, I have seen some things that have made me cringe. And I get it, you know, uh, mermaids are kind of a fantasy creature, and, you know, disclaimer, disclaimer, I have no right to tell you how to draw things, but I'm gonna tell you right now that some of the things I've seen, I'm like, how would that even function? You know, like, people, I think, forget that, like, anatomy still applies to even mythical creatures. Like, unless you're drawing, like, some weird little, like, cartoon thing with, like, rubber hose arms or something. Eh. Eh. You know? Like, this little... <laughs> If you're if this is what you're doing, if you're doing little rubber hose stuff, like fine. I mean, I guess do whatever you want cuz that already doesn't make sense, but if you're doing like anything really like anime related or realistically based um anything like that, I kind of want to give you guys some perspective on how anatomy will actually apply to a mermaid. So, before we do that, we're going to talk about the different bone structures. Now, I'm going to go over three different bone structures here. I'm going to talk about eels. That looks weird. I feel like I spelled that wrong, but I don't think I did. Um and then we're going to just talk about like a common fish. Uh, you know, just kind of, you know, whatever's. And um and we're going to talk about, like, uh, we're going to talk about, let me watch me not be able to spell this, porpoises, okay? Because porpoises are mammals and they, um, most of them are built very similarly and they, um, yep, they're different from the other things. So eels and fish are actually, like, extremely similar, so, um, I'm going to kind of give you, god dang it, what did I do? Okay, so I'm going to give you, like, a perspective of this. So, like, eels can do, like, the swiggly thing with their body, right? So you have, like, an eel, and it's like, I'm an eel, I have, like, really sharp teeth, blah, blah, blah. Whoop. It's an eel, okay? So you have an eel, and, like, their whole body is, like, a, it's like a tube. They're, they're a little ribbon fish, okay? So their whole body goes like whoop all around here and they like do the little squiggly thing. And they just kind of slither like little little snakes. But cooler. Way cooler. Okay, so here we go. We have an eel. But uh, to do that we'll have to like talk about the bone structure of the tail. So um, the bone structure, they like have like their vertebrae. It goes like all the way down, just pretend, I'm not going to do it all the way down, but just pretend like this is the line of the vertebrae right here. This whole thing that I'm tracing over, kind of. This is all the spine. And we have up here, there's like another collection of bones, like around the edges of it. Do 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 do. All the way around, on both sides, there's a collection of little bones. And then they have like their, they're like their ribs, kind of. It's kind of like, I'm not good with fish anatomy terms, but basically their skeleton, it goes and they like connect the vertebrae to both things and they make the body rigid. Okay, so this is like, this is, that's all skeleton. Okay, so that's what they do. But because of this, it enables their body to like swiggle around and stuff, and that's how they swim. Um, so yeah. There you go, you have that. So then we're going to talk about the fish anatomy, and we're going to go with a basic fish here. Whoop, whoop, shoop. Okay, really basic fish. Really bad, really basic fish. Okay, so here we go, here's a fish. Boop. And so there. Um, anatomy is really similar, you know, they have their skull up here, just kind of like, just like our uh, eel does, they have a skull. And then it goes down, and this line here is the vertebrae. All this stuff here, this is their spine. And they have the same row of bones, same row of bones, here, okay? And then they have, they look, I mean, almost exactly the same, just like the shorter, more rigid version of an eel. 
So their bones, their little like rib whatever bones are connected up and down. So like that gives it rigidity and then obviously like they have bones that go out to the tail. So yeah. Uh, this as far as I remember they do. I could be totally wrong on that. <laughs> Don't I know that whatever, we're focusing on this part. Sorry if I like totally totally fucked that. I can't remember, but um basically like this is how the, the shit looks, okay? And um I'm gonna get to porpoises and let's go with the dolphin because they're really easy. Oop. Okay, so they have a totally different thing going on. And their tail goes downward. Like this. So it's like it's not it's not like a fish tail, it's like a it, it's like this. <laughs> it just goes like this. And theirs is kind of like a little bit different because like their spine Go, is like our spine. So it goes basically, it just goes all the way down here. Do, 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 do. Maybe fish don't have bones in their tails. If I just disregard everything I said about this thing, this, this part doesn't matter. Only the spine part matters. I'm second guessing myself. I actually am like not entirely positive. I, we didn't really learn that stuff in, you know, high school biology class. <laughs> but okay, anyway, so because like, um, I know that, um, Dolphins and whales and stuff, they don't have bones in their tail. And this is basically just where it stops. It's just like this. And they have they have fingers. They have phalanges. They have these bones. But this stuff isn't important. Okay, so here we go. This is this. And this enables the tail to go up and down instead of side to side. Okay, so that's what... That's what that is. So these are the three different types that we're going to discuss. These are the three main types, and these are the kinds that um, I think people should most reference because this basically covers all of the bases. So we're going to start off with the eel because that's where I started off with the diagram whatevers. So um, here I am just using my character Umi, and uh, we're going to give her a bunch of different tails today, and she's probably not going to like all of them. Okay, so basically, here we go. We're going to put a tail on her, and it's going to be an eel tail. Now you can do it. Um, uh, it's I've never drawn an eel tail before on a mermaid. Um, I know that some people do it, and it looks really cool, um, but I'm not one of those people that does it. So... Basically, it's just kind of, you're gonna just, you're gonna, like, remove the actual fin part. So it's really just, like, um, like, this whole thing is the fin. And they just kind of, like, move around the water like a snake. And, I mean, really, that's all there is to it. Because, like, the bones are gonna come down the middle. Down the middle. And do 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 see all the way down. So it's gonna look exactly like the eel does, but like on a human scale, and they're gonna be able to like slither and wiggle and whatever's. Um, yeah. Um, it probably would honestly actually it would be like the fin part, the like the thin fin part would be down the middle of them and then down the back so they would look like this actually not not what I drew don't listen to what I drew okay so they would they would kind of look like this like the fin this part right here this middle part is like the fin the actual fin and there's like one on the back and they just kind of wiggle around and blah 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 there you go you have the eel mermaid that oh god I'm the worst at spelling simple words. Okay, so there we have an eel. Alright, so now we're going to move to the fish. This is another one that I kind of don't draw exactly. Um, yeah, <laughs> but it's going to be like the same type of deal when you're drawing them. They're going to be kind of like the same thing and... Kind of whoop. Have like this thing going on, and you know, they have, of course, they're like little fins and whatnot. Um, 
But this is the same thing where it's like the tail will go back and forth this way instead of like theirs. So they're just the fish tail, same thing. Vertebrae runs down, connects on the sides, but you know. Obviously it's not it's not like quite like that because it's like it's actually connecting this way and going that way. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm teaching you things, but I'm drawing everything wrong, sorry. But basically, like, that's what a fish-inspired tail is going to look like, and that's how it's going to function. Um, and, I, I mean, if you look at it, bones, they have a limit. This all, all of this has a limit. It will only bend so far before it breaks. So that's basically what I'm trying to get you guys to keep in mind, is that with basic anatomy, everything has a limit. So, um, except for eels, because eels are just... Ooh, they're just the badasses of the sea. They can do whatever they want. But like with fish and, and porpoises, they have a limit yeah, before the, the bones actually break. Um, so now we're going to do the mermaid that most all people do. And the one that I do the most, um, or it's kind of like a like a hybrid. Like I, mermaids, when I draw them, they're a little bit more fishy, but they follow a more porpoise type anatomy. So basically... Um, this is the ones that everyone's going to draw, and it's going to look extremely similar to the fish one. Except that the tail actually goes up and down. So it actually will go this way instead of the sideways way. And um, again, the, you know, just kind of have their whatever so um that's how like the basic and these are like the limits of it and stuff um that's really just what you have to keep in mind when you're deciding what kind of tail you want to draw um because i i see some crazy stuff i will see stuff that's like like the people will do curly cues in the tail so they'll like have their like little mermaid or whatever and it'll be just like It'll be terrible. It'll be like a little... Like, I don't want to sound mean, but it's really hard for me to get immersed into a character design when the whole time I'm looking at them, I feel like everything they just did is just kind of like not possible, you know? I see a lot of like, you know, loop-de-loop -loop tail spins. And... I have seen a lot of fish in my life, and I've never seen a fish loop-de-loop -loop tailspin themselves. Like, I feel like that would be a bit painful. So, um, yeah, that's kind of just like, that's where this is coming from. And I mean, I'm not saying that you can't do that, you know, it's, the world is your oyster, art is your whatever, and you can do whatever you want, artistic freedom, blah blah blah, but I mean, just keep some basic anatomy in mind, and it, once you know these rules, and if you decide to break them after that, then that's fine. You know, I at least did my part to kind of like help you have more things to consider, instead of um, you just kind of like winging it the whole time. But, uh, yeah, so that's basically that. Um, really, I don't have any other, like, pet peeves about the way that people design mermaids or anything like that. Like, if you want to give them pointy ears, long ears, fin ears, I really don't care. That's all up to you. Um, I, I, I mean, I, I just have nothing to say about that, because that all depends on, like, a person's, um, like, own creativity. Like, I always give my mermaids, like, pointy ears, but, um, you know, that's just whatever. So, uh, yeah, that's basically all I had for you guys today. Um, sorry if, like, the t torso anatomy is, like, a little bit wonked. I know it's wonked, but, um, you know. This was about tails today. So, here we go. Here's how we, how to draw mermaids. And, you know, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that you enjoyed it. And, uh, honestly, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Um, if you want to support me, links to my Patreon, shop, social media, they're all in the description box below for you guys. Please check that out. If you like my videos, feel free to subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Bye!